I am free. And it's not because of me. It's not because of the potential that he might see. Oh, and it's definitely not because of good deeds. Stack of works I have next to perfection. Anyone who looks and thinks, I make God proud. I need vision correction. But because of God's great grace, my shackles of sin have come off. Because of Christ's great love, I now walk. A free man, verily, I tell you what's true. But I have things left to do. No longer a slave, but rather a servant to my new Lord. And the salary, more than one could ever wish for. Better than money, cars, thrills, earthly pleasures. Eternal life with a loving God is more precious than what we can measure. Although it is by grace we have been saved, through faith, a new boss requires a change of pace. Quite the contrary, saying that this situation is limiting. A relationship with Christ is the one thing in life that's fulfilling. But the question remains, can we continue in sin and grace may abound? No! If we are truly saved by Christ, our lives should be turned around. Just as Christ rose from the dead, defeating death, sin, and Satan, rest assured that death no longer has dominion over him. But this means that sin cannot reign in our mortal bodies, controlling our passions. With his strength, we can resist sin, be dead to sin, due to God's heavenly compassion. He's the author, he's the maker, he's the master, he's the artist, us, we're just a canvas. We're no longer an instrument to sin, but rather do what's righteous. But even in our new role, we'll make mistakes, fall away, or we astray. It's a human situation, better known as the print. We're the sheep that have wandered off, and he's the loving shepherd. I'm talking about Jesus, the one who can heal the blind, the deaf, the mute, and the lepers. And that, my friends, is why we need Christ around. He's the pilot, and we're content to play the background. This is what freedom really is. Not something materialistic, but a relationship with God, apart from sin. You see, it says in the scriptures that sin is no longer our master. We are no longer under the law, rather. Grace is what has claimed our allegiance. Grace, in essence, is what completes us. We are now servants of God. This leads to holiness. Eternal life, the result, truly is. This means that we can no longer go on sinning in hopes that grace may increase. If I am dead to sin, how can I let this abomination dominate in me? For the wages of sin is death, and the gift of God is eternal life. In the Lord Jesus Christ, true source of light. So my old self is dead. I no longer serve sin. My old self is dead. Now I follow him. His work done in vain. My life has been claimed. My desires have changed. Heart rearranged. Barely, barely. I tell you, I am not the same. I once was lost. Now I see the blood of Christ is what has set me free.